we thank you for tuning in. The live stream will begin now. This is the day that he made. And he made everything that's in it. So that means that if he made everything that's in it, then he's controlling everything. See, that's why you have to give God praise and you have to get the right attitude because ain't no sense in it calling it happy Sabbath. Because if you don't know what it's worth, then you ain't going to be happy. But if you know that God is the sovereign God, the God of providence, the God that rules and reigns, the good, the bad, and the ugly, don't nothing get past him. He is before all things. We love you, bring you, amen, greetings, amen, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen, to the live stream audience, we love you, my live stream family, this is your live stream pastor coming to you on this Sabbath day, amen, a lot of people don't believe in the Sabbath, you know, it's amazing how the preachers and church world has gotten so smart that they can eliminate a commandment, I, I'm trying to figure out where did they get the audacity, who gave them that. They thought Paul was saying that uh, the Sabbath had been done away when he said let no man judge you in, 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 in new moons and Sabbath days and I'm not judging you but when you get the knowledge he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him it is a what? And then sin is the transgression of the law. He that sinneth transgresses also the law but you know sometimes you can get around a bunch of backslidden folks and with your knowledge you will backslide. Say amen. And that's why you have to stay uh, connected to people of like passion. You know, the Bible said, he that walk with the wise shall be what? I know folk don't like sanctification no more because that's a cultism. Uh, uh, when you get us aside and, and look like, you know, you don't want to be around everybody else. That's cultism now. It's called a cultism. And it's called, uh, you know, legalism and bondage. And, but years ago, sanctification was for your strength and for your safety. I said, uh, I said years ago, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 7, say don't fellowship with them, don't have pity on them, don't let your sons marry their daughters, don't let your daughters marry their sons because they're mighty and stronger than thou and they will turn you away from me to serve in their gods and then I will destroy you. Now he didn't say destroy them because he know they already messed up. He said I will destroy you. See, sinners is going to be sinners because that's their nature. So, see, God ain't going to fool with them because it's their nature. Let me break it down to you. If you got a spider web and there's a spider, but then all of a sudden a fly, just a little bitty fly, just gets caught in the spider web. And here comes this grisly looking spider climbing down the web toward this fly. Which one do you think God would favor, the spider or the fly? See, he's going to favor the spider because the fly is out of his element. Is that right? So when you step out of God and step in sin, he going to favor the sinner. Oh, I didn't even catch that one. Say man. That's why you're looking at the sinner and wondering why they spreading like a green bay tree. Why they come to work and talking about how they just left and had a, and committed adultery and partied all night and they just told you they just built a new house and here you are trying to serve the Lord with all your heart, mind, body and soul and can't hardly pay a water bill. So if you look at that, it'll kind of bamboozle you. It'll kind of make you wonder but all you have to do if you whenever get discouraged but behind that, just take a walk through uh, Psalm 73 and it'll encourage you. It'll let you know that they're but for a moment. The Bible said, be not uh, envious of the workers of iniquity. You understand? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, don't, 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 don't worry about them. Don't worry about the workers of iniquity. And, you know, don't be envious of them. For they shall soon be what? Cut down like the green grass and wither like the green herb. Is that right? So, you know, you don't have to worry about them. They, they got their day. And like I told you, that's God's mercy for them because he know, amen, the little 50, 60, 70, 80 years they're on the face of this earth. You know, he gives them their riches. He let them have it because that's all they're going to get. Amen. So when they burn and, and, and be tormented for eternity, you understand, just God gives them like the rich man that had everything. But, amen, when he left the face of this earth, he lifted up his eyes where? in hell but Lazarus didn't have nothing begging bread from the rich man's uh, gates but he lifted up his eyes and saw Lazarus in the bosom of who? Abraham and he said Abraham let Lazarus come dip his finger in the water then he make dip, dip, just finger just dip his finger and come cool my tongue because I'm what? tormented where? 
in the flames. But Abraham told him, he said, he can't come to you and you can't come to him. Because there's a gulf fixed. Look, somebody says fixed. And you can't unfix it. So you can do whatever you want to do. I'm not worried about them. I'm not, amen, worrying about what they have. Because at the end of the day, I got Jesus. At the end of the day, I got the true riches of God. At the end of the day, you may not believe. At the end of the day, I got the true riches of God. Y'all listening to me? Amen. I got something that you can't buy at Walmart. I got something that you can't get, amen, at uh, Dillard's and Saks Fifth Avenue or Maison Blanche. I got something that, amen, you can't order online. It only comes with the spirit of the living God. To my elders, I love you and appreciate you. And all the wives, we love you. All of you, beautiful wives. And to my church mother, Mother Jones, we keep her up in prayer, please. Keep Mother Jones, amen, Deacon Davis. Amen, Sister Davis, them up in prayer. Amen, I was calling Mother Curtis today. I said, well, let me call her and let her know I'm praying for her. She wouldn't even answer her phone. I felt so bad. I said, I don't know what I've done to her for her not to answer my phone call, you know, this, you know, I mean, I, I tried to love her and do everything that I could, and she wouldn't even answer my call. But uh, when I got to church, I found out why she wouldn't answer my call, because she had beat me here. <laughs> to the live stream, we love you once again. Appreciate God for all of you, visitors, saints, and friends. To the book, y'all ready to have some church? To the book of St. John, beloved, chapter 15, and begin re reading to you from verse 1. We'll be out of here quickly. Let me work down just a little bit, just a tad. St. John, chapter 15, verse 1. Give me your undivided attention. It ain't no time to play. I told you this stuff. I told you, like, they're going to be killing like, like, like purge. I told you, I told you, that, that, that you, you ain't been paying attention to the Bible, right? See, this war over in Israel is not going, it's not going to go down. It's going to escalate. And when you see the armies begin to compass Jerusalem, look up. See, we're not paying attention. We just, we, we, we just going on with all kind of nasty attitudes and stuff and just not realizing, not paying attention to the signs of the time. You know, Israel, the Bible said Issachar had understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. See, a lot of these preachers right now, they don't know what Israel ought to do. They don't know what the church ought to do. You understand what I mean? They don't even know what to preach. They're just as confused as everybody else. They're telling you, put your mask on, take your mask off. Put your mask on, take your mask off, you know. And it's really confusing. It's crazy, I mean, because, uh, we, you know, in our mind, and don't get me wrong, I'm not condemning nobody for wearing a mask and I'm not telling nobody not to wear your mask. But I'm saying it's kind of crazy that you can tell me to put on a mask to come in a restaurant, but then when I get in the restaurant, I can take the mask off, and I don't have to put it on no more while I'm in the restaurant. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying? You have to wear it in certain places, but you can take it off once you get in there. It's, I think that's kind of ironic. I think that if we're going to go eat or something like that, then, then you ought to eat with your mask on. I think the mask ought to be like a sifter. See, and, and everybody don't have the same measure of faith, and I'm well aware of that. I am. I'm, I'm not condemning nobody. And let me tell you something. Some of you, amen, not wearing a mask because you think it's going to keep you from getting COVID. You just ain't got in a habit. Anything you do more than 30 days becomes a habit. You understand what I mean? You putting them on because it's a habit. But really, you understand the habit is over. I don't wear them. I, I, I do believe in, I, be, I believe that God's my healer, but I get, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel good when I wear them. I, I be halfway cheating. I know my nose is long, so sometimes they can't tell the difference. Though. I got to breathe. I'm not trying to cheat. I just, I can't breathe like that. To the book. St. John chapter 15 verse 1. God in Christ said, I am the true vine and my father is the what? Husband man. And every branch, every branch in me, come on talk, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. 
Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Fourth verse says, abide, abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except you abide in me. I am the vine and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do what? Nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. If a man abide not in me, now watch this, he is cast forth as a branch and is what? Now he's going to wither away. And men are going to grab him. Now the Bible said you'll be hated of all men for my name's sake. Now this men is not talking about spiritual folk, it's talking about carnality. Men, carnality, humanism is going to come and get you. He said men gather them and cast them into what? Into the fire and they are what? If ye abide in me. Look at somebody say if. Now if is a big old word but it's only a two letter, two letters but it's a big giant word. Because if is a prerequisite, it's a requirement, it's a stipulation. It's like, in other words, if you do this, then the next will follow. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be what? How many need some things done right now? Raise your hand if you need them done right now. To the book of St. John 16, 63. St. John 16 and 33. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have what? Now, now, now you might have what? Peace. In the world you shall have, I promise you, tribulation. But be of a good cheer. Be of a good cheer. Be happy. I have overcome the world. I have come over the cosmos. I've come over the external. There's nothing in the external that can affect me. I've, I've, I've conquered it all. I've conquered uh, a, a trials, tribulation, hardship, betrayal, uh, forsaken. I've, uh, 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 I've, I've, I've conquered uh, death. I've conquered the grave. I've conquered it all. So be of a good cheer. I've overcome the world. To the book of Acts chapter 17, verse 17. One little old last scripture. I wasn't going to read it, but I might as well. Acts 17 and 17. I'll be out of your way. It won't take me long. Acts 17 and 17. Y'all got it? I'll tell you what you do. Go to Acts 17. 17 and 27, I'm sorry. He said that they should seek the Lord. I'm just breaking into a scripture. If happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us, for in him we what? Now, you ain't never seen the top without a bottom, in without a outer, right without a wrong. For in him we live and move and have our existence. See, whatever you be, it's got to be in him. If you be a preacher, if you be singing, if you be reading your Bible, in him we live, move, and have our being. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Now, the church world, this, 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 this church bunch that have taken and misconstrued the grace message, which many of us then got 
contaminated with. Because they have given us uh, this license, this pass that we can live any kind of way we want to live and it's okay. Uh, 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 you have to be careful. You have to be careful what you do, where you go because you might not like dirt. You don't play in dirt, but you got a white dress on. And you don't like dirt, you don't play in dirt, but you go places where dirty folk is. And because you got such a love on you, it's something about love, and love is a drawing factor. He said, about love and kindness have I. So sometimes if you get around dirty folk, they get around, you might just want to hug. <laughs> and your pretty white dress ain't white no more. It's in the wrong place at the wrong time. But the church world got this thing that and there's therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ. Wait a minute now. No, 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 no. Now King James and whoever his folks was and put all them punctuation marks and exclamation marks. And the original transcript had no punctuation marks. It had no chapters. It had no verses. It would read from the seventh verse, uh, I thank God that through Jesus Christ our Lord, so then with my mind I will serve the law of God, but with my flesh the law of sin and, and, and the law of sin. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are where? Which are in Christ who walk not after the what? But, uh, wait a minute, out now, you just can't be in Christ. It just To be in Christ, uh, there's a lifestyle. The Bible said uh, we ought to walk even as he have walked. But the church world said there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ. So that means that you can't condemn me. I don't care what you say. Uh, you can't condemn me because I'm in Christ. Now, if you're in Christ, then that means you're doing things that, uh, uh, that doesn't warrant condemnation. You can only condemn somebody that's wrong. But if I'm walking after, after him and walking like him, then I'm not doing nothing that's liable for condemnation. Y'all listen to me. Father, let a blessing be upon this word, God. Touch the hearts and the minds of your people, God. Lord, right now, let them see you and not me. Let the very words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your very sight. Look upon those that are in the live stream. God, touch them. Send this virtual. Send this virtual word. Let it, let it be alive. Let it jump out the screen. Let it come through their phone, through their laptop, through their iPads, through their television screen. Let it touch them, Lord. Let them be healed by the spoken word of God. Lord, let the people that are up under the sound of my voice, Lord, let the chains be broken. Let the prison doors be open. Let the blinded eyes be recovered. Father, I ask for a miracle in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Now, uh, I want you to listen to me, that, and I want you to watch this. The Bible said that the old books of the Bible were written for our admonition and for our, our, our learning. You know, it's for our instruction. And the Bible said we, through comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, right? So the, the comfort of the scriptures gives us a, an expectation, an anticipation, something to look forward for. Now, the Bible said there's two immutable things in the, in the which it's impossible for God to lie. The word of God is forever settled in the heaven and the scriptures cannot be broken. Well, everything is as is. I tell you that all the time. There's nothing new under the sun. But, but, but God lets things happen as a pattern to show you his way of doing things. Well, the Bible said that how that God made man in his own image and after his likeness and gave him dominion over the, the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, and, 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 and over, every, of, over all the earth and every creeping thing. So the Bible says, so God made man in his own image and in the image of God made he him, male and female made he them and gave them dominion over all all the works of his hand right now watch now pay attention now God told man he said now he uh, planted a garden east of the need I'm just going over because you can't preach nothing different the word of God ain't gonna change right the word of God is not gonna change food gonna be food you understand I don't care if it's uh, Italian I don't care if it's Chinese uh, it's still called food right but it's the same thing now watch this now so so the Bible said that God planted a garden east of the Eden, and it caused to grow the tree of, of, of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now please pay attention now. And he commanded
commanded man uh, that, uh, that, he, that he may eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he shall not eat of it, for in the day he eat thereof, he shall surely die. So man had a commandment not to partake of another word. Now you're going to have to listen to me, folks. Say, but McCoy don't want y'all fellowship. But McCoy, no. I, I know when you done been somewhere because you understand you come back with a, a different understanding with little light bulbs in your head with butts on your mind. You understand? But this and but that. But it used to be a time uh, you took God at his word. Whatever God said, that's what it was. But you done been somewhere that somebody done got educated uh, and got smarter than God said. They can explain away the word of God. So now you come back with education uh, and you feel like you can change the word of God. But there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death. Are y'all listening to me today? So the word of God ain't going change for you because see first of all you have to understand uh, the word cannot change uh, because see first of all if the word change uh, heaven and earth will pass away uh, and be no more why is that because uh, we understand that by faith that the world was framed by the word of God, right? We understand that in the uh, that all things are, are, were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. What are you saying? In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So now, if the word changes, then God changes. So then if that's the case, then God is not God no more because according to this unchangeable word, he said, I'm the Lord thy God and I run. I change not. Now that now it comes with a stipulation. It's not that just God don't change, but it comes with a benefit because he don't change. Therefore, you sons of Jacob cannot be consumed. We cannot be annihilated because this man don't change. What do you mean? Well, if God's the word and the word is God, then his word don't change. So there's a word that tells me that he's a very present help in the time of trouble. There's a word that tells me that he will not allow me to be tempted above that which I'm able there's a word uh, God word that tells me uh, that, that, that many may be my affliction but God shall deliver me out of them all uh, there's a word that tells me that uh, he have given his angels charge over me uh, not to just keep me but to keep me uh, in all my ways uh, and then he got an angel but I believe that it's uh, Michael the prince uh, that got an army that bees with him he said uh, he encamped his angel round about them that fear him uh, you understand what I'm saying so I got a word I got this blessed assurance I got this 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 assurance uh, that my, my soul is anchored uh, that, that, that means that, uh, uh, that I don't have to worry about going being tossed to and fro because God can't change uh, he said I'm the same yesterday today and forevermore uh, you understand what I mean uh, the word of God the Bible said every good and perfect gift comes from above uh, from the father of lights uh, in whom there's no veilness neither is there any shadow of turning in this man and the man can't change. You understand? He can't go back on his on his uh, on his oath and on his counsel. God said it, and that settles it. Is that right? Well, the Bible turns around and says how that God told man not to eat of the tree. Well, you know how it goes. That God uh, saw that it was not good for man to dwell alone, so He made him a help me. And he caused Adam to fall into a deep sleep and opened up his side and took out a rib and made Adam and helped me. Adam looked at her and said, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, I'll call her woman. Well, Adam made in the image and likeness of God. It would have been senseless for the devil to come to him because when a man is tempted, let him not say that he was tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted. Tempted. God tempted no man, but even neither, neither can he be tempted. So Adam couldn't be tempted, but Satan went to the thing that he could tempt. You understand what I mean? The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. So he went to the woman on purpose. It wasn't an accident. And got the woman to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And she gave to her husband with her, right? So that meant that Adam ate of another word. Now, in order for him to eat of another word, he he had to leave a position. He had to step out of a position. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. The Bible said, let us make man in our own image and in our likeness. So God made man in his own image and in his and, and after his likeness. So man was made in a position. So he was in that position. He was in God and God was in him. So in order, wait a minute now, God is a spirit and they that worship God must worship 
some image spirit and intruder. He said, the, the, he said, the spirit quickeneth the, that the flesh profiteth nothing. He said, the words that I speak unto you, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are light. So when God made man, he made him a word and he made him in him. He was in God and God was in him. Y'all don't listen, but he said, of every tree thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, in the day you eat thereof, you're going to die. What's going to what's gonna cause the death is that you got to leave this word to get that word. You, got, you can't stay in me and get that. God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very what? Oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is what? He's good. Good master, what must I do that I may inherit eternal life? Why callest thou me good? For there's none good but one. And that's who? That's God. Is that right? For the Bible say God is light. And in him and in him is no darkness at all. So God is 100% good, 100% evil. So for you to partake of anything else, you contaminate yourself. You're not going to contaminate me. In fact about it, when you go get contaminated, I make sure that you don't contaminate me. I want you to get away from me. Y'all don't hear me because two can't walk together except their water. Well, wait a minute, God, that's your son. It don't make no difference. You understand? See, when it comes down to my existence, uh, you understand to who I am. Uh, it ain't no, it ain't no mother, father, sister, brother, houses and land. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, I'll cut off whoever it is. I'll cut off mama, daddy, husband, wife, uh, son. Uh, in fact, about it, when the boy ate of the tree, uh, I, I told us angels. I said, put him out. Uh, don't let him come back in my house uh, no more. In fact, about it, I want to kill an angel outside the gate, uh, and I want him to take that sword and turn it every way. Uh, you understand what I mean? So if he can't come up in here, he's going to have to die. He's got to die. He'll never be able to come in my house. Uh, you understand? If he try to get back in here, in the flesh, uh, I'm going to kill him. Uh, I said if he try to get back in here, in this carnal realm, uh, trying to eat of the tree of, uh, of life and want to live in the flesh forever, you understand? Kill him. Uh, this is your son, God. Uh, it don't make no difference because uh, a little leaven leaven if the whole lover. Look what it done to him. But I don't want him to do that to me. Y'all don't, don't cherish your salvation. You hang around everybody. You can, you can uh, you communicate with everybody. But he told you just for your safety. You understand? To have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. For your safety. I told you to be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For your safety. You understand? I told you what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness. What communion have light with darkness. Darkness, uh, what concord of Christ with a uh, Baleo? Uh, you understand? What part hath the believer with an infidel? Uh, what agreement hath the temple of God uh, with the temple of idols? Know ye not uh, that your body is the temple of the living God? Uh, and because of this, wherefore come out from among them uh, and be ye separated, saith the Lord, uh, and touch not the unclean thing. Uh, and guess what now? Uh, then I will receive you. I'm not receiving no unclears. I'm not receiving a bunch of contamination because you ain't going to come and uh, make love to me and infect me uh, with a disease. I'm holy. I'm holy. I'm holy. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, somebody done told us that we can put one foot in the world uh, and one foot in the church uh, and just come on in here but I got a word uh, from the almighty God. Uh, I got a command from God to put a difference uh, between the clean and the unclean uh, between the holy and the unholy. Whatever happened to the preacher uh, it used to put the trumpet in the mouth uh, and cry loud and spared not. Uh, lifted up their voice like a trumpet in Zion uh, and showed God people their transgressions. Uh, and the house of Jacob, they said, uh, where are the preachers that used to preach sanctification, uh, preach separation? Uh, Where's the preachers that used to preach? Uh, you understand? Uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, uh, that you present your body uh, a living sacrifice, uh, holy and acceptable unto God. Uh, 
which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. And be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. He that is friends with the world is an, en- is an enemy of God. He that loveth the world is an enmity with God. How the church will got you feeling like you can live any kind of way you want. But watch this now. Look at God. Look at God. Man that got contaminated. Sin to begin to reign from Adam. And God looked at men. But watch now. Here the angels that looked at the daughters of men and saw that they were fair and went in unto them and took as many wives as they desired. And look at the, the, the sons of God. Look at those that were once walking in a room with God. You understand now they then took their eyes off of God. Remember that Adam was a son of God. You understand? Look at when he had Seth after Cain killed Abel. Called Seth a son of God. But watch the what I'm trying to show the sons of God looked upon the daughters of men, the flesh, and saw that they were fair, went in unto them. Now here's God, the, 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 the grandfather, your son that has some children. But these are not regular children. These are giants. These are not just stupid, dumb giants. These are men of renown. These are men that got an understanding of the scriptures. These are men that got, a, I mean, they, they, they're mighty and wise. But the Bible said the men of renown. And God looked at them and said, I better hurry up and do something. Because guess what? If I don't stop man, I will not have a seed. So God looked and he said, my spirit will not always strive with man for man's year. Days are 120 years. So God raised up a prophet by the name of Noah. I know y'all just think that Noah found grace. And when Noah found grace, but you got to stop and find out why he found grace. He wasn't just a regular. He wasn't just a regular. He was a just man. He was a just man. He was a righteous man. He was a perfect man. He was sincere. You understand what I mean? He had a made up mind. He had a fixed up heart. He wasn't a regular. He wasn't somebody praying with God. He was somebody that had sought after God. And Noah found grace. You know what I God made a vow. I had repented me that I ever made man on the face of this earth. He said, Listen, I'm going to kill man, woman, boy, child, amen, every living thing up on the face of this earth. You understand why? Because violence will cover the earth. Men's thoughts and imagination, wait, we're in that hour. Men's thoughts and imagination are only evil continually. I'm getting ready to kill up everybody. You better pay attention. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of, I'm not no sermon preacher. I'm a messenger. Do you understand? You got to listen live stream pay attention. You understand what I'm saying? Uh Uh-uh. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be uh, in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating, they were drinking, they were buying, they were selling. You understand? They were were marrying. They were giving in marriage. They were fornicating. They were committing adultery. You understand? They were married and divorcing. That spirit is in the land. A sex spirit. It ain't just in the the land. It's in the church. You understand? You got a bunch of folk in the church. Hey, man, having sex like they got license. You understand what I mean? Like they've been to the floor of the DMZ and they got license to just uh, just commit adultery and fornicate with whoever you will. But I bet the difference with you, you got to understand homemongers, liars, and fornicators are all going to have their part in the lake of fire which burn it with fine brimstone. Amen. And people ain't preaching hell no more. Everybody preaching heaven but you ain't never seen a top without a bottom or in without an outer but if there's a heaven, there's got to be a hell. And somebody's going there if they don't get a hold of the true and the living God. Somebody said, I'm saved by grace. God know I'm just a man. Absolutely. God knows I'm just a woman. Absolutely. That's why he came and died for you. That's why he came and paid a, a debt that he did not owe. Because you owed a debt you couldn't pay. That's why he was made sin for us who knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of God through him. But now he came. He came and died. He came and died for our sin. And y'all listen to me. But he didn't just come to die for your sins for you to keep sinning. You know, he know you're a man. You understand that he know you ain't capable of living right. You understand he know that you were shaping in iniquity and in sin that your mother conceived you. He know that uh, your righteousness is as filthy rags unto the Lord. He know that uh, you understand that your best state you're altogether nothing. He know that can an Ethiopian change his color 
devil can a leper change his spots? How then can a man that is accustomed to doing evil turn and do good? He knows that you know. Let us stand that there's no good thing that dwells within you. That is within your flesh. When you want to do good, evil is always present. So I can't help myself. He knows that. He knows that. So he didn't just come and die at Calvary to shed his blood. He didn't just come to give you salvation. He went to hell and rose with all power. Rose with all power in heaven and earth and with the keys to death and hell. He died at Calvary, shed his blood for your salvation. Went to hell and rose for your justification. And then, and then sent back the Holy Ghost. Sent his spirit back in you for glorification. Y'all don't kill me. Repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and in conjunction you shall receive you understand the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost so the salvation is through the blood but the Holy Ghost is my keeper the Holy Ghost is my power the Holy Ghost is my deliverer you understand the Bible said listen we're saved by grace through faith a gift of God not of works not of yourself lest any man should boast that's what the church will and that's right I didn't do nothing to get it but after I get it I got to work to keep it you got to work out your soul salvation behold I'm coming quickly and my reward is with me to give to every man according as his work shall be you got to work it out with fear and trembling you understand what I'm saying you didn't do nothing to get it but you got to do everything to keep it what do you mean shall we continue in sin that grace may abound God forbid how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer the end know ye not as so many of us as were baptized unto his death shall also be raised in the likeness of his resurrection how was it he was sown in weakness but raised in power he was sown in dishonor but raised in honor y'all don't give me he was sown he went down in hell as a dead man but rose with all power to heaven and earth given unto him and remember now the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead shall quicken your mortal body look at your neighbor said I'm saved by grace but Peter spoke about the manifold grace I'm preaching to me I'm getting me juiced up right now because I know that I got to meet my Goliath I know I got to meet my Esau but I'm not coming up to hand it I'm going to have a bag full of stones I'm going to have a bag full of stones you understand what I mean I'm going to be able to wind them up and knock down every devil it is I'm going to be able to wind y'all don't kill me Jesus said I'm, the, I'm a stone I'm the stone which the builders were Rejected. Peter said, we're the lively starter. I'm winding up on the devil right now. I'm giving to knock the devil off of somebody right now. I'm giving to knock him off your body, off your mind. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. This is the word, the true word, the true living God. Are y'all listening to me right now? So guess what? You understand? Peter spoke of the manifold grace of God. In other words, it just don't save you. It does, every, it does some other things. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. I, 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 there's a manifold. So what all does it do, Brother McCoy? Number one, we're saved by it. It saves what Paul wrote Titus and said, uh, Titus, he said the grace of God which bringeth salvation. Guess what it does? It teaches us denying ungodliness and worldly lust. And we should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. But wait a minute, what else do it do? It saves me, teaches me how to live holy. But it also told me to come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. So guess what? It's a savior. It's a teacher to make you live right and it's power over all the powers of the enemy. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. Let us come boldly before the throne of grace. Lift your hand tonight. Like when you get the Holy Ghost, I know you're just a man, but when you get the Holy Ghost, you get God Almighty. Know ye not that your body is the temple of God. You understand? But he turned right back around and said, let me put some clarification on. What? No, he not. That your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. What do you mean? What's the difference? If it's God or the Holy Ghost? Is it God or the Holy Ghost? 
when John was on the Isle of Patmos, you understand that he started, he got, got caught up in the uh, spirit in the Lord's day, and John messed around and wrote and said, let's do the bad record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, these three are one, y'all don't understand, when you get the Holy Ghost, you get Almighty God, listen, it's expedient that I go away, but if I go not away, the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, it cannot come, but if I go, I'll send you back another comforter, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you knoweth him, he that dwelleth with you, and shall be in you, I'm not going to leave you confident, he said, but listen, I will come, I will come, y'all better tell me what I'm saying, and at that day, you're going to know that I'm in the Father, and ye in me, and I am in you, that's why today you better point to yourself, and say, greater is he that is in me, and he that is in the world, he that hath the Son, hath eternal life, he that hath the Son, hath eternal life, he that hath the Son, hath eternal life, that's why Jesus said, I got power to lay my life down, I got power to take it up again, you can't do nothing to me, but when he went to the cross, God said, God living in him, he have eternal life, but he had to become sin, he had to become the sacrificial lamb, he was uh, he was a world of folk turning the back, he could take folk lying on him, but all of a sudden, something left him that he had never felt before, something left him, the presence of God, the spirit, left that body, he could take folk betraying him, take folk beating on him, take folk beating him beyond recognition, but when that spirit left him, he cried and said, Eli-o, Eli-o, the Mars of Bethany, which is interpreted, my God, why is that forsaken me? i tell you why, because if I don't jump at that body, they can't kill you, if i tell you why, I don't care how many spikes they stick in you, I don't care how many swords they stick in you, you won't be able to die with me living on the inside, but if I don't get out of you, you can't die, but don't listen, if you're the word made flesh, if you're the word made flesh, let your flesh go to hell, because that flesh got a word on it that said, I will not suffer my holy one to see corruption, neither will I leave his soul in hell, that flesh got a word on it, it said, listen, I've smitten you, but I'll heal you, I've torn you, I'll bind you back up again, and on the second day, I'll revive you, and on the third day, I'll raise you back up again, that word, y'all don't kill me what I'm saying, but that, that flesh got a word on it, you understand me, you know, I, and I'm with you through the sixth trouble, yea, in the seventh trouble, that word, that flesh got a word on you, I'm more for you than the whole world against you, y'all don't kill me, but that flesh got a word on you, I will never leave you, nor forsake you, no, I'm with you, y'all better hear me what I'm saying, watch what I'm trying to show you, so when the man went to hell, y'all better kill me, you got to confess with your mouth, you got to confess with your mouth. You got to believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Y'all better hear me. That God, wait a minute, somebody said God died on the cross. Who raised Jesus from the dead? God can't die. God can't die. God stepped at that body so the body could die. But if it had never stepped at the body, then the body would have never been able to die. Are y'all listening to me what I'm saying? You understand? Watch this. So listen. God raised Jesus from the dead. God raised him from the eye. Ah, I'm going to preach up in here. God raised him from the dead. You understand? Far above principality, powers, mights, and dominions, and above every name that is named. You understand? In the heaven, raised him up above every name. Every name, name suffered. He's raised up above it. Book, he's above that. Water, he's above that. Well, name anything. Just name anything. Cancer, he's above it. Just name anything. Cobalt. 27. Name anything. He raised him up above every name and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. The fullness of him that filleth all in all. Y'all don't kill me and put all things up on his feet. But wait a minute. He turned around and I pray that God give you the spirit of wisdom and a revelation into the knowledge of his son that you may know what is the hope of your calling and the greater that the inheritance in the saints and the greater of his power to us who believe he gave us an inheritor but it's in accordance to the power which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead whatever he 
took to get Jesus up out of hell. That's the power that lives in you right now. Y'all don't kill me what I'm saying. That's why you can't keep a God woman down. You can't keep a God man down. Whatever got Jesus up out of hell, that's what's living in you. It was God that raised him up. God, the Holy Ghost, is through your bad record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. If you got the Holy Ghost, you understand you got eternal life. God told me, I can't and I won't. I can't and I won't kill myself. Y'all better kill me what I'm saying. He said, now I'm going to destroy the earth. He said, Noah, build an ark. Build an ark. 300, uh, 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 300 cubics long. And uh, I mean, 50 cubics wide. Uh, and 30 cubics tall. Uh, put one door. One way in, one way out. Uh, and one window up above a uh, skylight. Uh, so you can't see nothing out. Uh, you're going to only see the light. Uh, and he said, uh, said Noah, preach and tell him it's going to rain. Uh, tell him it's going to rain. Uh, and see, it's a sad thing uh, to preach to somebody. Uh, and for 40 something, uh, for 120 something years. Uh, and they so blind they don't have eyes to see or ears to hear the Bible said they knew not until the until the flood came let us stand but watch the safety God told Noah he said enter in enter in the safety was in watch how God saved him God put him on a boat that didn't float and put him in and the animals followed him in and became subject unto Noah they went in unto Noah into the ark they first had to go subject to Noah so they could get into the ark. In other words, Noah told Noah said, you understand he was a type of Christ. In order to get into the safety, you got to come under me, all you that labor. If you want that rest, you got to come under me. You can't come to me dictating to me, telling me what you want. You got to do what I tell you to do. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But they see we doing that thing. Ain't nobody being safe. That's why I ain't no peace. That's why I ain't no safety. That's why I ain't no the power. Ain't got no deliverance. That's why we ain't taking full authority no more. And there's people giving a walk in full help. There's people giving a walk in the power and the very glory of God. When you become subject under Jesus, I'll give you rest. I'll give you rest unto your soul. But they went in unto Noah and the Bible said God shut them in and locked the door. What? When the flood came, it couldn't get Noah. You know why? Because Noah was in the ark. Now listen to me, Noah was in the ark. You understand when Rahab spared the spies. Well, wait, wait a minute. Hold it just a minute. I'm gonna get too fast. You understand? God made a promise that I'm getting ready. You understand? To bring the living to the children of Israel. And he told him, he said, Now Moses, go down there and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Well, you know God heart in his heart just to show the children of Israel how bad he was. So finally God said, I'm giving me to bring the liver. He said, Moses, tell him to eat a lamb, to get a lamb and kill it according to the eating of every man's house. And tell him to take the blood and pour it in a basin and take his sop and dip it in the blood. Go outside the house, sprinkle the blood up on the doorpost and up on the lintels. Y'all don't hear me. And go back in the house uh, and cast on uh, put uh, put on your sandals uh, cast your garments about you uh, and eat the lamb uh, when you got the blood of the lamb on the outside uh, when you got the lamb on the inside uh, he said because tonight uh, the death angel get ready to ride by uh, and when he ride by your house uh, he said make sure that you stay in the house uh, cause if you come out of the house uh, you're gonna die the safety was in uh, the the deliverance was in. Noah had to stay in. You understand? The children of Israel had to stay in. When they finally got over to the promised land, went over to Jericho, there was a hornet that had a house on top of the wall. And the two spies came in and she hid them. You understand? They found out that they were there and they wanted to come and get them, but she hid them under some flax. Or you understand? On top of the house. But finally, after she told the men that they were gone, they were long gone. If you head up, you might be able to catch her. So finally, she went up there. Y'all don't hear me, but being a whore, she understands she made love to one of them. Y'all better hear me. That's why in the genealogy, she just got, she got paid all the way. You understand, Rahab is in the genealogy. Y'all don't hear me. How did she get in the genealogy being a Jericho? Y'all don't hear me. The spies just went just spying. Y'all man, they had a little bit more going on. But what I'm told is, say, listen, listen, she let them down the 
roll uh, with a scarlet rope. Uh, y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Uh, and they told her, uh, they said, now listen, uh, you see, uh, if you keep this secret, uh, I won't tell nobody. Uh, see, uh, we get ready to come in and take over Jericho. Uh, take this same scarlet rope, uh, put it outside your window, uh, and tell your mama, now you can't tell nobody. Uh, you understand? Watch. Uh, you got to keep it a secret. Uh, you can't tell nobody because folk got loose lips. Uh, so that means you have to go to a family uh, and say, come get in my house. Come on. Uh, why, girl? Just didn't listen. Shut up. Get in the house. Uh, let's come in the house. Uh, you understand the promise wasn't to them. Uh, it was to her. Uh, some of you right now, if you'll get in, uh, I'll save your children. If you'll get in, uh, I'll bring the limits to your household. Uh, if you'll get in, uh, you understand it was Rahab uh, that had the promises of God. Uh, it was Noah that had the promise. Uh, it was Noah's son. It was Noah's daughters in law. It was Noah's wife. It was Noah. And they were subject under what Noah did. Uh, and she told her, come on in the house. Uh, just come in. Why? Why, Ray? Uh, just come in the house. Uh, y'all don't kill me. Uh, and you got to come in the house. Uh, he said, as long as you stay in the house, uh, when we come in uh, and see the scarlet robe, uh, we will not touch that house. Uh, but if you come outside the house, uh, remember the oath, we're not bound by oath. Uh, we'll kill everything that steps out the house. Uh, so you got to stay in. Uh, you understand that they had to stay in. Uh, in the old books of the Bible, uh, you got to stay in. Uh, first natural, then spiritual. You pray in it. Uh, you done jump out the word right now. Uh, you understand? Uh, in me, you'll have peace. Uh, in the world, you're going to have tribulation. Uh, you understand? But be of a good cheer. Uh, I've overcome the world. That's all right. Uh, I'm preaching to Del McCoy. I got to be out of here in the middle. Uh, but I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I'm telling Del McCoy as a reminder. Uh, don't let the devil make you think you can step out of me uh, one millisecond. Uh, your deliverance is in me. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, except you abide in me. Uh, you can do nothing of yourself. You can't even bring forth fruit. Uh, you understand what I mean? Uh, except you abide in me. Uh, you understand? You can't live. Uh, you understand? Uh, but if you'll abide in me and my words, uh, abide in you, uh, it's going to put you in the driver's seat. Uh, if you get in me and my words, get in you. Uh, if you get in me and my words, get in you. Uh, you going to become me. Uh, if you get back in that word, uh, if you are diligently hearken uh, until the voice of the Lord thy God uh, to observe, to do uh, all of my commandments and my statutes which I command you this day. Uh, I'll set thee on high uh, above all bases of the earth uh, and, uh, and all of these blessings too much uh, and all of these blessings uh, shall come up on thee uh, and overtake thee. Uh, you understand? Uh, you're going to be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, uh, blessed in the city, blessed in the field. Uh, you're going to be blessed coming in. Uh, you're going to be blessed going out. Uh, I'm going to bless your, uh, your storehouse. I'm going to bless the fruit of your body. Uh, I'm going to bless your basket. Uh, you understand? Uh, when the enemy come against you one way, uh, you will have to flee seven different ways. Uh, you understand? Uh, I'll make you the head and not the tail. Uh, you'll be above only and not be beneath. Uh, Y'all got to get in. It's time to get in. Uh, I need God to answer all my questions. Uh, you understand? We have this confidence uh, that whatsoever we ask uh, according to his will, uh, it shall be done. Uh, in other words, I'm not even going to talk to you till you talk my word. Uh, I don't talk to nobody but me. Uh, I do everything after the counsel of my own word. Uh, but guess what? Since you don't want to listen to nobody, uh, I'm going to tell you what your word said. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, you're my shepherd and you told me I shall not want. Uh, you told me that you'll leave me beside the green pasture. Uh, you told me if I walk through the battle of uh, the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You told me, uh, you understand? You told me uh, your very present help in the time of trouble. You told me uh, you understand that you're my shield uh, and you're my buckler. You told it's time to pray. Uh, you told me uh, if I were to dwell in the secret place uh, of the most high, that I would abide under the shadow. If I were to dwell in uh, the secret place of the most high, I would, uh, I would abide uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, I would say of the Lord, He's my refuge, my fortress. Uh, uh, God in Him will I trust. Uh, Y'all don't hear me. Uh, a thousand may fall by my side uh, and 10,000 by my right hand uh, and none of this is going to come nigh me uh, no evil uh, shall befall me uh, that I shall not overcome uh, I will give my angels charge over thee uh, to keep thee in all thy ways uh, lest at any time you dash your feet uh, against the stone uh, they're going to bag you up in the hand uh, why am I going to do this for you because you have made the Lord uh, your habitation because uh, you have made your Lord your habitation uh, in other words a habitation is a house uh, because you're living in here 
him. If you'll abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will. I heard him tell me as I'm praying, you told me that you're the Lord was my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid of? When the wicked, even my foes, and my enemies, my foes, come up on me to eat of my flesh, they're going to stumble and fail and fall. The war shall arise. I will not fear. You understand? So a host shall encamp against me. In this will I be confident. What you confident about? I'm confident about this very thing. That God going to take care of me. And guess what? Guess what? One thing if I desire of the Lord, and that's what I'm going to seek after. I'm not seeking after the house. I'm not seeking after the cause of somebody. You know what I'm seeking after? Just to wonder one thing. Have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after. That I may the well in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The blessing is in the house. I will keep them in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed upon me. Why are you going to keep them? Because they put their trust in me. You understand what I mean? The deliverance is in him. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ. As long as I'm in him, walking like him, talking like him, the accuser of the brethren can't come to me and say anything to me. Y'all better kill me what I'm saying. I ain't worried about the devil. Somebody said, there's who do and who do. I said, yes, it works. It works when you're outside of God. When you step outside, Marisha, when you step outside of God, they can work it on you. But as long as you're in God, as long as you're in God, as long as you're in the Word, I got a word from the Lord to let every soul be subject to the high power. For there's no power but of God. And all powers that be are ordained of God. I got a word from the Lord that all things are made by Him. Now all things are made for Him. With the thrones, with the things in heaven, things in earth, things visible or invisible, whether the thrones, dominions, principalities, or powers, all things are made by Him. And all things are made for Him. And He is before all things. And by Him, all things consist. I got a word from the Lord that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same as in the beginning with God. Not a few things, but all things are made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. Can the vessel say unto the potter, Why has thou made me thus? Though the potter got power over the clay, you believe that there's one God. If you do, you do well. The devils believe. No but I said the devils believe and they tremble. The devil's scared of God because he's the creator. Y'all better kill me. Don't nothing move without him. Don't nothing breathe without him. He gives to all things. Life, breath, and all things. When he is, the devil's scared of him. Because in him, in him, we live outside of him. You gon' die. In him, we move outside of him. You gon' stop moving. In him, we have our being outside of him. You cease to exist. But if somebody today is saying, Lord, I let somebody get me out of God. I let somebody took me out of my position. I used to walk in authority. I walked in a power. If your heart condemns you, God is greater than your heart. And he knows all things. But if your heart does not condemn you, then you got a confidence toward God. That whatsoever you ask of him, he's got to do it. Why? Because you keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing. Y'all better pray with me. I got to get up out of here. I'm trying to tell you that the power's in him, that the deliverance is in him, the peace is in him. In me, you shall have peace in the world. You will have tribulation. I don't need a cigarette. I don't need no alcohol. I don't need no drugs. I don't need no sex. I need Jesus.
Jesus. You get Jesus. You get peace of mind. You get joy divine. You get love and love. It cannot be surpassed. You get the brightest star that shines. You get heaven on your mind. Y'all better kill me. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the power. Get in him. You walk like him. Get in him. You live like him. Get in him. You have power over all the power of the enemy. Get in him. You get your healing. Get in him. You get your healing. Get in him. You get your deliverance. Get in him. You get your breakthrough. Get in him. The chains got to be broken. Get in him. The door got to come open. Get in him. God, I feel that Holy Ghost. I feel the anointing. Lift your hand. Shout glory. Like the old folks say, I'm glad. I'm glad that the Lord saved me. I'm just glad that he did just save me. Sister Moses, he saved me. And by one spirit, he baptized me in the one body. He put me in the body of Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father. They said they come by me. So Jesus is the truth. So when you get baptized into Jesus, you get baptized into the truth. You get baptized into the truth. Well, guess what? As long as I'm in the truth and the truth is in me, you can't do nothing against the truth. You can only do something for it. You better put your hand on your kip and let the devil know that all things are working together for the good to them which are where, which are where, which are in, loads you in it, loads you in it, loads you in it, it's going to be good, loads you in it, I'm going to turn it around, loads you in it, you got a miracle coming, loads you in it, expect a blessing, as loads you in it, expect a turn around, as loads you in it, expect a yoke to be destroyed, Oh, y'all ain't praying with me. I got to come up out of here. I got to come up out of here. I got an airplane to catch. Y'all better hear me. I got to get up out of here. JV, you better get ready. He's coming back for them. That are in him. That are in him. That are he in them. Y'all better hear me. He's coming back for them. That are baptized with the Holy Ghost. He that have not the spirit of Christ is none of his. He said, if your name is not written in the book, you can't make it. Well, guess what? He ain't looking for Applebee's. He ain't looking for her. But yet he looking for Zenus. He ain't looking for Xavier's. Y'all better kill me. We ain't got to wait in line. The Bible said we got an army in heaven and an army in the earth. The Bible said Jesus, Jesus Christ, the queen, the army in heaven and earth is named. So guess what? What's ever in heaven, what's ever in earth, was named Jesus. What gives us the name when you put on Jesus through the Holy Ghost you take on his name you take on his name God ain't looking at your speaking flesh God ain't looking at your speaking flesh God don't care that about your last name God looking for his son and when you got the old of Shando Kandela AKT you know what they're saying they ain't listen the spirit bears witness with my spirit that we're the children of God. If you got the Holy Ghost, guess what you are? You got a brand new name. You got a brand new name. Tell your neighbor, my name is Jesus. My name is Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Y'all better hear me. Damn, I call Jesus.
Jesus. Tell them I'll call it Jesus. That last name is my owner's name. That last name is my owner's name. Tell them I'll call it Jesus. I got power. I'm an heir of God and a joint heir. I got power to live right. I got power to walk right. I got power to dress right. I got power. I got power. Somebody say in him, in him. <laughs> go hug somebody else and say, in him. I said, go hug somebody. Else. Go hug somebody else and say, in him. Say in him. Well, that means if I'm in him, then he ain't sick, he ain't depressed, he's not poor, he's not bound. So when we become one with him, expect your miracle. When you become one with him, expect your healing. Those of you in the live stream, lay your hands on your body, on the screen. Tell God today, I'm in you. Let the word come to the screen. Come to my laptop. Come to my phone. I send your word to heal. 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 Heal them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Heal their hearts. Heal their bodies. Heal their emotions. Heal their marriage. Heal their children. Heal their finances. Heal. Heal. Stand, Stand on your feet. On over the... Only the people that believe what I'm preaching know how to praise him. Only the people that believe what I'm preaching, your mouth go automatically come up. Because you know the battle is already fought and the victory is already won. Only those that believe gonna praise him. Because you ain't gonna wait till the battle is over. You give it a shout now. Only those that believe him is gonna praise him. Because you know how to call those things to be not. As though they were. If they're in him, it's already done. He was already wounded. He was already bruised. He was already chastised. And with his stripes, we were healed. 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 What you talking about? There's a people that their strength is going to be renewed like an eagle. Your strength is going to be renewed like an eagle. God give it a talent. Y'all gonna wake up with a new mind, with a new attitude, a brand new body, a brand new body. It's in him. It's in him. But here's the key. Are you in him? Here's the key. How many of you done stepped out of him? You ain't got no confidence no more? You drinking, you drugging, you smoking, you fornicating, you done stepped out of God for a few minutes of pleasure. You got what you wanted, but then lost what you had. 
Now you tormented, you scared. When you walked in a confidence, you had a confidence in him. You walked in that blessed assurance that God was your protector. Let not this law depart out of thy mouth, but meditate therein, day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Then shall you make your way to prosper. Then shall you have good success. Have not I commanded you? Be not afraid. Be of a good courage. Be of a good courage. Be not dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever. Do you believe he's where you are? See, if you've been him and he be in you, he's where you are. But if you're not in him, you're not where he is. If you will abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask. We're not getting nothing done no more. Prayer is unanswered. Because you're out of that word. I want to get back in that word that I'll have that confidence. Some of you in this building, it's all right. You think I'm lying. Lord spoke to me and he said, keep preaching. He said, they're going to turn it back on. They're going to call you everything. They're going to call you the deceiver. going to call you a gluttonous man, a wine bibber, a companion of thieves. He said, but keep preaching this word. Keep preaching this word. He said, this is the light. He said, the light, he says, getting dark. And the light will be the common denominator. I told you if you don't be here, if you don't get here early, you'll have to watch this here by us, by TV in one of the fellowship halls, or one of the waiting rooms. I know you think I'm lying. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, if I ever get somebody to lift me up from this flesh, if I can get somebody to get rid of the carnal nature, we got a bunch of preachers, but they in the flesh, but if I can get y'all to let me come up out this earth, I'll draw all men unto me. If you're in this building right now, I know I got to catch a plane, but yeah, that's all right. You know, we lie so much now, we lie, the devil have made so many liars. But how many just be honest with God and know you're not in God like you used to be? Raise your hand. No, 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 no. I don't care how much you prophesy. I don't care what you preach. I don't care where you've been. You mean, you nasty, you gamey, you slick. Those of you that need to get in that secret place, in that place where there's no condemnation, that place where the devil can't find you. There's a place in God that the devil can't find us. You want to get back in that realm, I need you to jump up out your seat. And I need you to run as quickly so don't nobody get your place. Some of y'all ain't going to never come to the altar, you understand? But it's fine. You'll come to the altar, you're going to run to the altar one day. Come on, let's fall on our knees. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord, as we get ready to pray, God, Oh, Lord, you've been making me keep these folk on their knees for sure lately. Father, it's time to cry out, Lord. It's time to call upon you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Top it down a bit. Call upon him with your whole heart tonight. I want you to tell God right now, Lord, I'm a million miles away from you, Lord. God, ain't no sense in me lying, Lord. I'm not where I used to be, Lord. Ain't no sense in lying, Lord. I'm preaching, I'm prophesying, but I'm a million miles away from your glory, Lord. God, I got stuff in my life that don't nobody even know, Lord. But God, I want you to deliver, deliver me from secret sins, Lord. I want you to deliver me from these hidden iniquities, Lord. I want you to deliver me, Lord, from sin, seen and unseen, known and unknown. You better cry out to God with your whole heart. Get this demon of pride off of me, Lord. It make me think I'm smarter than you, Lord. It make me think, God, I got more wisdom than you, Lord. It got me where I can't follow leadership, Lord. I'm 
always dictating. I'm always commanding, Lord. Get that spirit up off of me. Give me a spirit, a child spirit. Let me be converted and become as a little child, Lord, so I can enter into the kingdom of God, Lord. Lord, I'm of that quiet and meek spirit, Lord. Oh, God, you said, Lord, seek meekness, Lord, that we may be healed by it. In the evil day, God, oh, call upon him with your whole heart. Cry out to God with everything that's within you. Tell him, God, I done got out of you, Lord. I done went back to drinking, went back to smoking, went back to looking at pornography, Lord. God, I got a boyfriend, I got a girlfriend, Lord. I'm home mugging, but God, I'm coming to church, Lord, with my long dress on. I got everybody else food, Lord. But I know the night is as day unto you, Lord. Oh, God, tonight, Lord, don't put a spirit of delusion upon me and make me feel like I'm right when I'm wrong, Lord. God, don't let me get on lockdown. You said he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is unrighteous, let him be unrighteous still, Lord. God, whatever you do, don't let me get on lockdown, Lord. Or let me get where I get to the point of no return, Lord. Where I can't, I can't pray, Lord. I can't ask for forgiveness, Lord. There is a sin. There is a sin that I would not that you pray for. There's a sin that you can't come back from. Tell God, don't let me get so far gone that I can't make my way back home, Lord. God, tonight, put the cry back in my soul, Lord. God, when I was in you, I had peace, Lord. When I was in you, I had joy, Lord. When I was in you, I could live with that unsaved man. God, I'm he speak cussing, Lord. And I will be giving you praise. Like when I was in you, Lord. That unsaved woman, Lord. No matter what she done, Lord, I still had joy. Oh, God, today, Lord. When I was in you, I could deal with my children, Lord. When I was in you, I could deal with my co-workers and my supervisor. God, put me back in you, Lord. In you is the victory, Lord. In you is the deliverance, Lord. In you is the peace, Lord. In you is the joy, Lord. In you is the power, Lord. In you is the overcoming victory, Lord. Oh, God, in you, we have the victory in Christ. We triumph always through him. Call upon him, call upon him. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered Jesus call upon him like the little children was the other night Jesus you better cry out to God you better cry out to God with your whole heart tonight call upon him with everything you got within you tell him Lord let me find my way back home Lord I want to get back in you that's where my peace was Lord when I was walking in that word Lord I was walking in a peace I was walking in a joy I was walking in a confidence Lord I knew God that with no devil couldn't nobody work nothing couldn't nobody speak a word Lord I was walking in that word that told me there ain't no weapon formed against me going to prosper in every tongue and folks speaking evil Lord every tongue that rises up against us in judgment will be put out of commission will be condemned Lord God I walked in a confidence oh God that you gave me power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall my enemies hurt me Lord as long as I was walking in that word I had eternal life as long as I was walking in that word I had my healing you sent your word and healed them you cast out devils with your word you said the word of God is my shield it's my buckle, Lord. Quicken down me, O oh God. According to thy word. The word of God is quick and powerful. Sharpen it in a two-edged sword. Pierce it even to the divided asunder. A soul and spirit. Send a word. That will separate these spirits out of my soul. Send a word. There's stuff in my soul, Lord. Send a word. Get these demons out of me. Get them off of me, Lord. I don't want to be a church house hypocrite. Call on a preacher. Call on a prophetess. Call on him pastor. Call on him handmaid. Call on him daughters of Zion. Call on him musicians. Call on him praise team. Call on him ushers. Call on him pastors aid. Call on him. Call on him men in black. Cry out deacons. Call upon him Jesus. Call on him for Mama Jones. Call on him for Deacon Davis. Jesus. Call on him for Brother Newberry. Call on him for our children. Jesus. Go get our babies, Lord. Jesus. I need you to hear me. I need you to hear me. You say, what I'm asking your name, it shall be done. Jesus. If I will abide in you and your words about me, I can ask what I will. Give my children. Get the saints babies, Lord. Jesus! Oh, my baby, Dago! 
go to hell. Call on him, mama. Call on him, daddy. Call on him, preacher. Cry for your soul. Cry, preacher. Tell him, Lord, restore to me the joy of my salvation. Call on him, prophetess. Tell him, God, take me back. Take me back to that place where I'm so in love with you, Lord. Take me back to that place that nothing meant nothing to me. Just you, Lord. Take me back to that place, Lord. I want to do my first works over. I want to believe you like I used to. I want to take it to word like I used to. I want to walk home like I used to. I I want to live right like I used to. Call upon him. 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 Jesus. Father in heaven. Lord, I'm asking for a divine miracle. I'm asking for a divine miracle. I'm asking you to move for your people. Move for your people. Move like never before. Touch the hearts and the mind. Send your anointing, sweet. Send your glory. But they cry back in our souls. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, strings. Come on and tell him, Lord, I need you. Tell him, Lord, I need you. More than the desert needs rain. More than the ocean needs a spring. I need you. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Call upon him, Lord. I need you more. And the desert needs rain. And the ocean needs a spray. Call on the children, please. Don't let me cry by myself, Jesus. Send help, Lord. We ain't gonna make it if you don't help us. We ain't gonna survive if you don't help us. People are backsliding. People are giving up, Lord. People are walking away. People are going back in sin. People are going back in perversion. They're getting on lockdown. The God that never put a hold on them. God, please loose this stronghold. Loose me from this stronghold. Loose me from this stronghold. Loose me from this stronghold. You better cry, man. You better cry, brother. Loose me, Lord. The devil try to take my soul to hell with him. Lose me. Father, I praise you. I thank you for this word. I thank you for these people. Somebody got a healing on their knees. Somebody in the live stream that's on your knees, God bring a deliverance. Some of you, the devil got you bound with bitterness and unforgiveness and resentment. The devil got you bound. His purpose it ain't, your, it ain't that man doing this to you. It ain't that woman. It's the purpose of the almighty God to make you, mold you, shape you. You ain't mad with a man. You ain't mad with a woman. You mad with the almighty God. Tell him, Lord, you can't win. You can't win being bitter. You can't win being unforgiven. You can't win. You can't win being vindictive. You can't get God. God, can't, you can't touch him. Standing on your feet all over this building with your head bowed and your eyes closed. Don't open your eyes. Just don't get distracted. Grab somebody by the hand as you stand. 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 It's sad when you ain't got no more tears. It's sad when you can't cry no more. I said it's sad when you can't cry no more. It's sad when you can continue dealing in sin and don't nothing affect you no more. It's sad when you know your life is wrong and after you done preached to others, then now you yourself is a castaway. It's sad to be out there in them clubs and you don't even fit no more. It's sad to be walking around in all them years and God has spared you. Now your body's reeking with disease. 
Now you're sitting up and got stuff done crawling up inside of you and you don't even know what it is. It's sad when you don't walk in a place of victory, but now you got something that won't even let you give your life back to God. You can come to the church, but you can't come to God no more. You can come to church, but you can't get in. You can't get connected no more. It's sad when you can't get reconnected anymore. Please, God, connect my soul. 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 soul. Father in heaven, Lord, I'm asking you for a miracle. Let your will be done. Get that stubborn spirit off of these children. Get that stubborn spirit off of these adults. They see the adults stubborn. And adults has given them license. And they don't even know they're opening them up. This is the wrong hour to open somebody up to demonic activity. There's too many of them out here. Darkness is covering the earth and gross darkness to people. You'll see in a minute. It don't mean nothing to you right now. Young girl, this, this morning, 3 o'clock. Another one of them Trump and his eye and family folks blew her brains out this morning. 15 years old. Called me and prayed for the sister and prayed for the grandmother just before I came out to the service. 15 years old. Felt like she didn't want to live. Y'all playing with him like it can't nothing happen to y'all. 15 years old blew her brains out 3 o'clock this morning. Father in heaven, I pray a blessing. Move for your people like never before. Turn around and give somebody a hug and tell them, say, neighbor, I bet you better get in. If you ain't in, you better find your way in. You better find your way in. Give somebody a hug and tell them, say, you better find your way in. You better find your way in. Better find your way in. I love you today. I appreciate God for each and every one of you. Those of you in the live stream, we appreciate God for you. Hopefully we'll be back with you on tomorrow. I want to say this again. Those of you in the live stream, we appreciate your love, your prayers, your faithful gifts of support. You know, we're still in our building. Many of you, we're thousands and thousands of dollars away. Let God speak to your heart. We should be finished real soon. But I thank God for those of you that have been faithful, been loving, and saying, Brother McCoy, this word has been blessing me. And I just want to be a blessing. I want to sow into the kingdom. Let God move for you. Love you so much. So until then, may God bless you. Let's give God the praise.